Doing numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a youngin' And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bounced Sukiyama Theo Mays Twerking on the carpet Oh man, I'm just so lost, bro. I'm lost as hell, bro. I cannot, for the life of me, understand where are, where are we as a culture? Well, people walking. What well, you supposed to have a man or married? People walking you like a dog. You twerking on the carpet. I'm just like, what in the flying fuck is the culture coming to, bro? Does this make black women look bad? Hell yeah. Like, a double hell yeah. And old girl apologized? Why? It was disgraceful. It was disgusting. It was nasty. No matter how beautiful you look, your actions are so idiotic and stupid. Words can't describe it. All that for some fucking attention. I don't give a fuck how much money a motherfucker make or how much money they got. This shit is sad, bro. Oh, she ain't. She got to be classy. She don't got to be this and that. I'm just like, damn, damn. I get if you at the crib. I get if you at the club and y'all having fun. But damn, what you gonna be at the Oscar spreading your legs too? If they invite you there, it's like damn, man. Like when is we gonna get to a point where motherfuckers gonna dispute they fucking mind and say this shit is wrong? It's despicable on all fucking levels, man. I hate. With a passion, this mentality and mindset. I don't look at black women as trash, but this shit look the fucking disgusting, man. And y'all niggas sitting around talking about, oh yeah, you can't be Michelle Obama. Oh yeah, you can't be Beyonce, this and that person. I'm like, my nigga, I'm just this etiquette. Like, what the fuck was that? Like, what in the fuck? You're talking about this is somebody's mother doing this type of shit. I'm grown. That's disgusting, bro. Like, that shit is fucking disgusting, man. I'm just like, what in the flying? Oh, she's so freaky and wild, you know. You know like, she was overseas acting crazy. Like, this ain't funny, that shit. Well, I can't, bro. I cannot be around women like this. I never, like, no. I'm walking the fuck away from that motherfucker. That's animal motherfucking attitude and personality, man. Some wild animal shit. I'm a hood rat bitch and I don't give a fuck about nothing. That shit's sad, bro. Don't tell me you're making millions of dollars and you can't have a personality or character. That's all I'm saying, bro. That shit disgusting, man. And it's sad as fuck out here, bro. You know, you know some crazy shit, though, man. I was reading these, I be reading these little different stories and shit like that. And I'm noticing the mentality of a lot, majority of the women that's just out here listening to this fucked up ass music, looking at these fucked up ass reality TV shows and being inspired by the absolute worst people ever. This shit is, it's the worst, bro. It's the worst, man. It's demonic, it's fucked up as hell. And it's just like, I cannot believe that you got a, 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 a culture of people that's in this celebrity lifestyle that shake their head and say, that's what we need to be doing, you ass. Dancing on the dirty ass carpet where everybody walking the fuck on and twerking our ass and opening our legs and shit. This is crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. I just don't understand it no more, man. Like, I, I take a respectable woman any day. I'll take a respectable woman any day. 
Like I said, what we do in our bedroom is in our bedroom. But to be out in the motherfucking public, to be saying you got a husband, saying that you got a man, saying you got kids, and you doing this shit, and everybody okay with it, bro. It's it's sad as fuck, man. It's sad as fuck, man. But like I was getting back to the stories and shit that I've been seeing. Once again, I keep saying the STD numbers are rising high. Who you think the culture is, the two coaches that get that most STDs and shit like that, man? Most babies and all of that. Most fucked up homes. What what coach, what two coaches is that? I mean, I want y'all to get in the comments and tell me this answer, man. But it's crazy, man. I remember looking at this story one time, right? About this young lady, man. Catching HIV, AIDS or whatever. And moving to different states. And, and trying to hide their identity and passing this shit on to different people. This trifling ass mentality that these women are walking around with is sad. Because we are fucking better than what this what, what, what we saying, bro. We way better than this shit, man. We got intelligent, we got smart, we got great and amazing women in our culture. And we don't gotta walk around with some hood, them motherfucking hood rat bitches and trifling ass hoes and shit. Like this shit ain't cool. It ain't cool. It ain't okay. This shit is fucking sad, man. I guess if you want to act on the stage or whatever the fuck you want to do, but God damn, man. This shit ain't cool. It's not acceptable, man. This shit ain't right, bro. This shit is fucked up, man. It's fucked up, man. I just like, man, I see shit like this. It bothers me, bro. Like, damn. To me, that shit is mentally ill because I'm like, you got kids and a family and shit, and you're doing this shit. Ain't no way in hell where we come at. Where we come up. This is how niggas was raised. And I was raised by a black woman. But she ain't damn sure ain't raised me to be on no shit like that. She ain't raised her to be like that. Hell no. And she won't perfect, and I'm not motherfucking perfect. But this shit is ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, man. It's fucking ridiculous, man. This whole shit is crazy, man. The mentality, that's why I be saying, bro, I feel sorry for my kids. They got a date in this world. I just feel sorry for niggas, man. All I could do is pray for you. That's all I could do out here. This shit is fucked up out here, man. Y'all go fuck around. It'd be crazy. This is so, this was so crazy, bro, like. I was thinking about the movie Temptation, bro. Like, just imagine you being that good-hearted, good nigga, dog. You working your job. You go to college. Let's say you ain't got a bunch of money and shit. You get your old lady. And she get mesmerized by this satanic fucking word, bro. I might be fucking words up, but I'm just passionate about what I'm saying, bro. Like, and all of a sudden, she want to go out here and fuck with one of these niggas, dog. And catch some shit. Come back to you. You the good guy. You working. You taking care of the house. You doing what you got to do. But your motherfucking bitch is the biggest whore. Mindset. Getting tricked into believing that this is the way a woman's supposed to act. Out of fucking order, man. It's fucking, dis it's fucking disgusting, bro. I went, like I said before, if you in your crib and y'all chilling and having fun, that shit cool. In the public, I like that, dog. Like, when we had the old folks, we couldn't act crazy, dog. But we eating and shit. We learned as kids not to act crazy, man. In certain restaurants, we, we conducted ourselves in a certain way. And we weren't motherfucking perfect. We came from the block just like everybody else. We came from the trenches just like everybody else. But we was taught shit, man. We ain't had no perfect fucking family, dog. Niggas went through struggles and shit. Barely can eat all of that good, all that crazy shit, man. But we got to come out of this shit with character, man. Fuck the money, bro. That shit's sad, bro. Like, what the fuck? This is the demonstration of the women that our daughters and shit supposed to be looking at when they look at their TVs and shit like that. Whole shit. Every fucking character that's out here. Whole shit. That's all they can look up to is whole shit. And every, every aspect is on some whole shit. Eat my pussy, lick my ass, bend my legs over, shake my ass in front of everybody. Some whole ass shit. Every chance. And like I told you, man, the STD numbers is going higher than a motherfucker. HIV, AIDS, all of that higher shit. 
Because we got these whole ass motherfucking people out this bitch, man. Like straight disgrace, man. And they don't give a fuck about hurting you. They gonna give you that shit. And they ain't gonna give a fuck. And look at the mentality of these people, bro. Ungrateful ass motherfuckers, man. That will hurt the fuck out you. And y'all think this shit a joke. Y'all think this shit a game. Look at that Tyler Perry movie, man. That shit was one of the best written shit he put out, man. You know why? Because the message behind the acrimony, the same shit. Where it's just like, damn, the women of our coaches is losing their purpose, man. They losing their soul to this evil shit. And they don't give a fuck. That's the problem. They don't want to listen to none of the men in the environment that's saying, this. come on, bro, we ain't on that type of shit. Have some character, dog. We might sleep in the bed and do what we do in the bed, but we ain't got to televise that shit. I think only fans that killed the character of the women in the environment. Every bitch that you know in the fucking hood got an only fan sucking somebody dick. They posting that shit on Facebook. They posting that shit on Instagram. They don't give a fuck about anything. These motherfuckers got real live daughters and sucking dicks on motherfucking OnlyFans. This shit's sad, bro. It's sad as hell, bro, for a little bit of money. You ain't even really making no money on that shit. When niggas go back and look at the numbers, but for a little bit of money. No telling what niggas will sell their soul for money, dog. You sold your soul, you on that motherfucking dirty ass copy doing that nasty ass shit. Sold your soul, man. I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed in people in the industry that see that shit and don't say nothing, man. Y'all got these big ass platforms and you see that type of behavior and everybody shut the fuck up. But yet when the bitch gets slapped upside the head with a fucking brick for doing some chaotic shit, everybody want to speak on that shit. This is this the fucking, I can tell you right now, bro. A woman could walk up to me right now with a brick and slap the shit out of me. You got nothing but women out there. Ain't there one of them bitches going to jump in. She spit on me. Ain't there one of them bitches going to jump in, dog. It's only a small few of fucking women that got that character like that. They getting possessed by this evilness, man. This shit dark as fuck. I'm telling you, bro. Like, you keep saying, this thing about the neighborhood and start watching these motherfuckers. You like, damn, old sis got skinny as a bitch, didn't she? Damn, sis don't look the same no more, right, G? Oh, she was thick back in the day. That bitch skinny than a motherfucker. Lose, motherfucker losing weight out of nowhere. These motherfuckers catching diseases, bro. These motherfuckers be real life sick out this bitch. <laughs> Man, boy, this shit's sad, bro. And this the type of role models that's out this bitch. Oh, I'm not a role model. Bitch, you're on TV, motherfucker. You're on TV. You got a name, motherfucker. You're rapping and all that shit. You're a role model because these motherfuckers are looking up to you, man. This shit is sad, man. I'm just like, damn. Ain't nobody on no platform saying how bad this shit look. Everybody, then when somebody get the fuck slapped out on or something happened, everybody want to, oh, yeah, protect the black woman. I don't want to hear that shit no more, man. I don't want to hear that shit no more, man. Protect the black woman from what? They killing they self. First of all, they all these diseases and shit these bitches catching. Bro, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop this talking. I'm gonna show y'all niggas the numbers, bro. So y'all can really be like, oh damn, Charlie ain't, ain't talking no bullshit. Look at these fucking high ass numbers, dog. Third world country, these motherfuckers catching diseases like that, bro. But everybody on some hoe ass shit. Man, I don't respect this shit, bro. I don't respect it, bro. Never will I respect it, bro. I don't give a fuck. I take a classic bitch any day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, that whole shit, that's for a horny night on a late night when you ain't got nothing else, man. Because every I'm telling you right now, you fuck around, you fuck around and catch something off this bitch. Because these bitches is nasty, man. You fuck around, be sick than the dog out this motherfucker. And this is the craziest thing. These bitches even telling you they have motherfucking STDs, dog. They telling you on their Yeah, I had an STD. They telling you that they got caught with diseases and y'all celebrating that shit that tell me your dumb ass then caught some diseases uh, like i said before man bro i said I, i'm talking to the fucking crowd man but i don't give a fuck i'm gonna say what i feel bro i don't give a fuck bro i don't like it bro it's it's, it's bad bro 
It's bad. Don't want motherfucking white people looking at y'all niggas like y'all fucking animals, man. I, I hate to say it. Like, don't, don't, don't white people looking at y'all like y'all some fucking animals, bro. Like, seriously, bro. Sick in the fucking head. Oh, I don't care if a nigga piss on me and this and that. Oh, raw dog queens and all this weirdo shit. Like, what in the fuck is we coming as a coach? I'm just like, damn, we ain't got no stand-up niggas, neither. Y'all go, y'all all this black, protect black women shit, and y'all letting these women go out here and do this nasty ass shit, and y'all niggas sit back and don't say shit. Y'all niggas ain't stand up, nigga. I don't want her nothing from these niggas no more, man. I don't want her nothing from these niggas no more, bro. These niggas fake as hell, bro. That's why I say I don't be believing all these bullshit niggas out here, man. These niggas bullshit, bro. Cause ain't no two to ain't no real niggas gonna sit back and just see this nasty ass shit and don't say nothing, bro. It's disgusting, bro. Or maybe these niggas so tan tan and fucked up that they can't see the truth, man. They be talking crazy about Charleston. Why all these other niggas that be coming out talking this shit? And I sit back and say, damn, bro. The nigga might have been right. This shit fucked up, man. I just can't stand it, bro. I cannot stand to watch a fucking sister that beautiful act like a fucking animal, dog. That's crazy, bro. I don't even understand this shit, bro. I couldn't that couldn't have been my woman. I would be hurt like a son, bitch. I'd be hurt, bro. I see if something happens secretly behind closed doors, that's one thing. To be out in the public with motherfucking OnlyFans and all this nasty shit these bitches doing out here. I'm like, damn, G. Damn, G. It's crazy, man. I'm talking about like you go on Facebook, it's like damn near half your platform got motherfucking only fan workers and shit instagram half your pit everybody trying to sell some pictures and shit sell some videos and shit of them fucking fucking they suffer or getting sucking somebody dick or fucking somebody i'm like where is the character at with this shit y'all don't give a fuck how y'all got all these kids and y'all out here sucking niggas dick on videos and shit and, and putting it out to the public sending the multiple niggas to show this shit y'all don't have no integrity don't give a fuck about your kids. I don't, I don't believe niggas care about their kids that they get on a motherfucking OnlyFans and suck somebody dick and pass the pictures and videos around all over Facebook and Instagram to sell them. You don't give a fuck about yourself. Neither do they your motherfucking kids. You don't care about them, man. But y'all always coming out with the fathers ain't shit. Fathers ain't shit. Fathers ain't shit. No, your motherfucking mother ain't shit. Bitch is nasty, nigga. I don't agree with this shit. I don't agree. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't agree with this shit, bro. Uh, I'm like, damn, how you be so beautiful and doing such nasty, disgusting things, bro? The girl ain't ugly from a long shot. You know what I'm saying? But god damn, G. What the fuck? Couldn't been my home, girl. I would have told her straight on the phone. She would have got cussed the fuck out, man. Couldn't have been my home. I'll tell you straight to your motherfucking face. You, you, you tripping, motherfucker. You tripping. For real. I gotta say, bro, you don't gotta like what the fuck I'm saying, but nigga, at some point in niggas' life, they grow up, bro. 20-year-old me, I would have loved to see everything. Let's be ratchet as hell. 30-year-old me, nah, bro. We gotta do better, bro. We gotta do better, bro. That's the mission in life, to do better, bro. Fuck that money shit. That's all these niggas talking about. Oh, they got money. But they doing whole ass disgusting shit, man. To get that shit, dog. It's no different from a nigga in the street selling drugs and shit. Because that... Um, you see, you niggas might say, no, you wrong with that. How I'm wrong, nigga? She's selling this idea of selling pussy and being a whore. These bitches getting STDs about... Y'all better see them fucking STD numbers and shit, man. That shit is ridiculous. These motherfuckers dying, dog. Just like them fucking drugs, them drug dealers pull out there in them in them goddamn on um, streets. So these bitches selling pussy and they dying, they killing the, the motherfucking niggas, man. Just like them fucking drugs, they set, telling all these girls to go do this whole shit and they killing the young girls in the neighborhood because they following suit. They so fucking. Some of these girls can't read, white spell, can't do none of that shit. All they know how to do is suck a dick and fuck, get fucked. They don't know how to read, write, do none of that shit. That's all they know how to do is OnlyFans shit. They don't know how to do nothing. That's why you see all these dating apps and all this other shit where they on live and shit trying to get a couple of dollars, dog. 
because they ain't never had nothing in life to be able to prosper. They, it ain't even talking about a positive message of anything. Just on some sucking dick shit. You know what I mean? Or on some hoe ass shit. Or some bagging ass shit. That's it. And ain't no purpose or none of the shit they saying or doing. I don't agree with it, bro. I don't I don't agree with it, bro. I do not agree with this shit, bro. This is fucking disgusting, bro. This culture of what we moving into is going straight to motherfucking hell, dog. Straight to hell. What they used to say to old folks with gasoline motherfucking draws, G. These bitches going to hell, dog. Ain't no way in hell you a mother and got daughters motherfucking. You out here sucking dicks and twerking asses on copy and shit. You got a daughter and you doing this nasty shit. I can't respect these women out here, bro. This shit, y'all talking all this bashing on niggas. But y'all whole ass got 10 niggas in y'all phone. Y'all sucking and squalling, man. And y'all bitches probably running around with STDs and shit. It, by the numbers, a lot of y'all got that shit. That's out here doing this whole shit. You know what I mean? Don't get it misconstrued or talking about the classic woman or the woman that's doing the job and shit like that. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about this whole shit. That's what I'm talking about. This whole ass shit. So don't, don't get it misconstrued. Because I don't look at all black women like that. But it's the large majority of these motherfuckers going to be fucked up. And they're going to be real fucked up. They probably already fucked up. Because when these bitches be telling these stories, they telling you they didn't court STDs and shit. And they don't give a fuck. Got kids and all this shit. Don't give a fuck about them kids, dog. Fuck them. I had them. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still do my nasty shit. You know what I mean? I'm cool with being a whore. It's like, how the fuck? I don't give a fuck if your grandma raised you, man. Somebody got to have to put some type of sense in you. Y'all niggas out here supporting this shit. Y'all niggas crazy, man. It's cool. A little one song. Okay, yeah, niggas bobbing you. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. 20 songs with the same mentality. On red carpet, twerking ass, and acting retarded. Hell no, man. Hell no, bro. Hell no, bro. That's why I don't... I can't hang with niggas, man. I can't fuck with niggas. I can't hang with niggas. I be trying to stay the fuck away from niggas, dog. For real. I just... I'm not in that mindset where I, I want to see my own culture look crazy as hell, bro. I don't want to see that dumb ass shit. Man, they hanging us from trees back in the days. All the shit niggas fought for. And y'all niggas on some hoe ass shit. Where's the great and amazing woman that to stand tall and say, stop that dumb ass shit. Y'all niggas couldn't wait till Kevin Samuels passed away. Y'all couldn't wait till Kevin Samuels passed away. But that nigga was spitting some real shit. I don't give a fuck how the delivery was. He was saying some real nigga shit that that shit needed to be heard. And he changed the world mentality in a few couple of years, my nigga. He was saying some real shit and they hated that shit. But it's real, dog. It's real. This shit is, man, this shit is out of control, bro. And the two times they go to that fucking. Bro, this shit, I just can't stand it, bro. I cannot stand this nasty ass shit, man. What you doing in your home? That's your home, bro. But all this out in the public, nasty ass shit. Kids influenced by this disgusting ass shit. It's sad as hell, bro. It's sad as fuck, bro. I don't like it. It make me irritated as hell to see people doing that nasty ass, disgusting ass shit, man. But who am I, right? I gotta be worth 300 million or a bunch of millions of dollars to, to deliver, deliver a real message. I guess that's the key, man. They got more money so they can do whole disgusting ass shit. And it's acceptable. But a nigga coming with some real shit, fuck you, nigga. You got to be worth, worth multiple millions of dollars to talk your shit. Psh, trust and believe. If I had multiple millions of dollars, I'd be saying the same shit. It's disgusting, bro. And I don't give a fuck about a backlash or none of that shit. Because I ain't going to apologize. I be on that bitch saying what the fuck I want to say. And wouldn't give a fuck who got hurt by the shit. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say, especially when I see wrong, dog. I'm going to speak my motherfucking peace, and I don't give a fuck who don't like it. I'm a Tory, dog. We stubborn in a motherfucker. I don't like this shit. I don't like the way the black women being portrayed out this motherfucker. I don't like this shit, bro. Hell no, I don't like this shit, bro. It's disgusting, man. It's like a spit in the fucking camera. It's so fucking disgusting, man.
sad as shit, man. Let a nigga pee on you, all this type of weirdo shit. This bee bitches out here is disgusting, man. Why like, straight up, man. Fucking disgust, despicable, man. I don't mean fuck up, man. Look, man. I don't like this shit, man. I don't like this shit, dog. I don't like it, bro. But I'm out. Fuck it. A will to win a healthy life. All natural products. Come join the new movement, guys. We got products in different categories, such as sports, weight loss, beauty, and also household products that's all made all natural. Click the link in the description. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.